So the right time to have LASIK is when you find yourself bothered or encumbered by glasses and contacts and you find yourself seeking or wanting freedom from them. And it just requires an evaluation to make sure that you're a good candidate. And most people are. So the time is now. So what's interesting is when you put a contact lens on the surface of your eye, the only thing you're doing is changing the shape of the front of your eye. And what we're doing with LASIK is we're changing the shape of the front of the eye permanently with lasers. So LASIK and PRK are very similar procedures. They actually use the exact same laser to reshape your cornea to take away your prescription. The major difference is that the first step in LASIK is creating a flap in the cornea that is then reflected or opened to expose the bed of the cornea and the, that part of the cornea is then reshaped to take away your prescription. In PRK, step one is a gentle exfoliation of the surface cells or the epithelial cells and then the exact same laser is used to reshape it. Then we wait for those cells to grow back. And it's a little blurry on the day of surgery but many patients, it's dramatically better immediately. For instance, most patients sit up and they read the clock on the wall. And that is regardless of what their prescription was beforehand. Um, it's pretty amazing to see. Patients on the day of surgery will have a little bit of blurriness. And when the numbing wears off and we're only numbing the eye with eye drops, um, they'll feel a little scratchy and irritation for a few hours. So we encourage patients to go home and take a nap because if they sleep, they're gonna sleep through the kind of worst of the irritation. But the next morning when they wake up, we expect them to be comfortable and functional visually. The biggest advantage to having LASIK or PRK simply is freedom from glasses and contacts. But contacts, especially if not worn perfectly well, maybe sleeping in them, wearing them too long, wearing old contacts, is actually very risky and can lead to a variety of vision-threatening conditions like corneal ulcers, scarring, inflammation, and blood vessel growth. So it's not only a convenience, but it can also be safer. The most common comment we hear after having LASIK or PRK with, from our patients is that they wish they had done it sooner. They love waking up and not reaching for glasses or not putting contacts in. And they're also surprised at how quick and painless the procedure is as well. With LASIK and PRK, laser vision correction, we're changing the shape of the front of the eye. The same shape change that a contact lens would create on the front of the eye. We're doing permanently with a laser. And those shape changes are permanent for the rest of somebody's life. But there's another lens in the system of our eye. And the crystalline lens, which sits back behind the iris and the dark pupil, that lens is very dynamic as we age. Interestingly, the young human lens is incredibly flexible. And that's what allows us, when we're young, to see distance, intermediate, and near. The lens inside of our eye is literally flexing with muscles and we call that accommodation. Every human on the planet loses their ability to accommodate as they age. The reason for that is our crystalline lens inside of our eye becomes less and less flexible as we age. So our vision becomes more and more fixed as we age. And that's why you'll see people in their mid 40s and early 50s and beyond need reading glasses and bifocals. LASIK and PRK do not prevent that process from occurring. It's a different lens. It's occurring inside of the eye, whereas LASIK and PRK, laser vision correction, is on the surface of the eye. So patients that are young and have LASIK, they have to understand that they're going to have that process occur to them as they age. There can be a few reasons that we may detect on your preoperative evaluation that will make it unsafe to have LASIK or PRK. Thankfully, there are definitely very effective alternatives. Those include ICL, it also goes by implantable columnar or implantable contact lens, 
refractive lens exchange, or early cataract surgery. Having PRK or LASIK here at Revision is unique because we certainly invest in the best and latest technology, and that drives great outcomes. Dr. Schumer and I are both fellowship trained or did additional surgical training in LASIK, PRK, and a variety of other vision correcting solutions. And the ultimate difference too is the experience. The patient experience should be great. We are completely patient focused and I really am confident that we offer the best experience in the area.